Okay, in this video we're going to look at multipliers and looking at how we can use multipliers to increase and decrease a quantity by a percentage really easily and then you'll see then how that will link in with compound interest. So, uh, let's just say for instance I wanted to increase 60 by 20%. So if I wanted to increase twenty or 60 by 20%, well, I'd work at 10%, which is 6. Double it, well, that would be 12. And add it on, which would be 72. But also watch this. If I do 60 multiplied by 1.2, I also get 72. This 1.2 is what we call a multiplier. And I'm going to teach you how to use these multipliers now. Okay, so... If you want to increase it by 20%, well, let's consider what you start with to be 100%. And if you increase 100% by 20%, well, then you would have 120%. 120% as a decimal number is, remember, to change a percentage to a decimal, you divide it by 100. So that means move the decimal place two places to the left, which is 1.2. So 120% is 1.2. So to increase by 20% really quickly, you just multiply by 1.2. Okay, let's look at some other increases and I'll, we'll look at uh, what their multipliers are now. Okay, let's pretend we wanted to increase a number by 23%. Okay, to increase it by 23%, you start off with 100 and then you add on 23, so it would be 123%. But 123% as a decimal number is 1.23, so the multiplier would be 1.23. If you multiply any number by 1.23, you increase it by 23%. Let's look at increasing by 75%. Well, if we increase by 75%, we would get 175%. Because you start off with 100, you add it on, 175%. As a decimal number, that's 1.75. So the multiplier is 1.75. If you wanted to increase by 4%, you start off with 100, add on 4% is 104%. As a multiplier, that would be 1.04. So if you multiply a number by 1.04, you increase it by 4%. And finally, to increase by 30%, that would be 130%. Well, 130%, divide that by 100, 1, 2, would be 1.3. You don't need to include the zero on the end, okay? So multiplying by 1.3 increases it by 30%. Let's look at some multipliers now which act as which decrease it. Okay, if I wanted to decrease a quantity by 15%, well, I would start off with 100%. Decrease means you're going to get smaller, so take the 15 away from the 100 to leave you with 85%. To change 85% to a decimal, you divide by 100, which would be 0.85. So if you multiply any number by 0.85, you decrease it by 15%. If you want to decrease by 4%, take 4 away from 100%. Which would be 96%, then as a multiplier, that would be 0.96. So multiplying a number by 0.96 is the same as decreasing it by 4%. And finally, if you wanted to decrease by 20%, well, take 20 away from 100, that's 80%. Divide by 100 means move the decimal place twice, 1, 2, so that would be 0.8. So if you multiply a number by 0.8, that's the same as decreasing it by 20%.